I've been living in this city for 13 years. I've lived across seven different neighborhoods. And in this video, I'm gonna go over where to live in El Poblado in the city of Medellin. So when you type in El Poblado, it highlights this yellow area. This is the very touristy area, but El Poblado is actually much bigger than this. If you scroll out a bit and you actually click on where it says El Poblado here on the map, this is all of El Poblado. There are many little neighborhoods within the neighborhood. Let's go over the pros and cons of El Poblado. Let's go over the pros first. Since it is a tourist destination, there are a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of bars, there are a lot of nightclubs as well. So there's always something to do in El Poblado. Since this is a sought after neighborhood by people with money, there are newer buildings with nice amenities like rooftop pools, gyms, saunas, Turkish baths, etc. Most of these buildings do have security guards and they are gated. So wherever you're living, you're pretty much safe in that area. And probably the biggest pro is that it's pretty cheap compared to bigger cities in the United States and the UK, even in Australia, where an apartment, for example, in downtown LA or in New York could be $5,000 a month. With $5,000 a month, you have probably a spectacular penthouse here in Medellin, finding an apartment for less than $1,000 is possible. Finding an apartment for less than $2,000 is definitely possible, especially if you're going the local routes and renting unfurnished. So let's talk about where I would prefer to live if I were coming to Medellin, maybe for the first time, second time, or third time, but I wanted to stay for a longer period of time and actually get a routine going, maybe get work done while I'm at home and also discover the rest of the city. So I wouldn't wanna live in this uh, touristy area that we already talked about because there's a lot of traffic going in and out. Also, there's a lot of noise pollution. If you wanna be near here, it's okay to live in one of these areas like El Tesoro up here. El Tesoro is great because there is a big mall here called Centro Comercial El Tesoro that actually has a really great layout. It's got a great movie theater. It's got rides for kids. It's got high-end shops. Again, remember, El Poblado is the Beverly Hills of Medellin, so it's going to be the most expensive, but you're also going to have the nicest things out there. It is a residential neighborhood. As you can see, I'll just zoom in. I don't know. Let's go into one of these buildings right here. As you can see, this is very beautiful because it's very green. It's pretty organized. It's well laid out. And as you can see, a lot of these buildings will have a pool in them and it looks pretty modern. It almost looks like something you would find in the United States or in the UK. Let's go down to the street level. Yeah, this is how did the car go through here? First of all, this is obviously a side road by this building, but these are the ma main roads over here. As you can see, it's all, it's very green. One of the beautiful things about living up in these hills is the fact that it's pretty secluded. You're in nature, you're on the side of a mountain. You're gonna have amazing views. Whoever lives in these apartments up here is gonna have an amazing view of the city. And look at how clean it is. There's really no trash. An apartment in one of these buildings, even if you go through the local route, you're probably going to be paying $1,000 per month or more for some of these, maybe like the top ones, the penthouse ones, the lower ones, probably somewhere around $1,000. And that may include the utilities and your internet. So you are gonna be paying top dollar for these, but look how big the property is. And this is where the security guards are. If I could take a look over here. Yeah, see, you have gated community security guards. There's probably a pool in there and a gym in there and probably some other amenities. So if you like this kind of lifestyle, this would be the area for you. If you're ready to make a move to Medellin, but you're unsure of how to get started, where to live, how to get an apartment, how not to pay thousands of dollars on Airbnb, but maybe go the local route, what visas to get, how to transfer money into Colombia to maybe buy your property and your car. Click on the link in the description below to the Medellin Masterclass or book a consultation where I work with you one-on-one -on -one so you could get to that point where you have your dream life here in Medellin, Colombia. Another nice area within El Poblado is Castropol. Castropol is lower down on the mountainside, so it's gonna be a little less mountainous or a little less hilly. So you may be able to do a lot more walking through this area to go to the grocery store, to go to the gym. And you're also closer to Avenida Poblado, which is a big avenue that, as you can see, this yellow line that goes across pretty much the whole city into downtown. And you're also very close to metro stations with the metro runs along here. And you're also closer to some other bigger commercial centers down here, like Monterrey, Premium Plaza, San Diego Mall. Let's take a look at this building because I know that it's pretty new. This is Font 
living and take a look at this this is very modern it's again it's gated you've got a lobby you've got your security guards here with their security camera tvs there you've got a parking garage over here and it's pretty tall and again the people living in these apartments up in top they probably have a great view of the city now let's take a little ride over here let's just keep going this way this is all castropol if I go, for example, let's go up this street. I know this is gonna be a little bit of a smaller street. As you can see, this is not like El Tesoro. We were going through those streets on El Tesoro and they were kind of inclined. Here, it's it's a little hill here, but it's not very inclined. It's still very walkable here. I'd be able to walk through this myself. Most people would too. What is this guy doing here? Oh, oh he's selling fruit, nice. See, in El Tesoro, you would probably not see this as uh, as you would closer to Avenida Poblado, closer to the flatter areas. Because obviously that guy's not gonna climb up all the way to El Tesoro to sell some avocados. You may see it every now and then, but not every single day. Again, more buildings. These are more like townhouses, as you can see, a gated community. So that's the difference between El Tesoro, which is higher up in the hills, and Castropol, which is still very nice, but more accessible. Another area that I would recommend you check out in El Poblado is Los Balsos. Los Balsos is over here. One of the best things about living in this area is that you are right next to the Santa Fe Mall. Santa Fe Mall is one of the most beautiful malls I've been to in my life. And I grew up in Southern California where you've got a lot of malls. But check this out. This is, this is the mall. This is the middle of the mall. Look how many stories. There's four stories. There's a movie theater in there various restaurants a food court and they always decorate this middle part amazingly for different occasions this is this year's decoration for the flower festival it is a great place to just walk around and people watch i've even gone in here and worked when i get bored of the co-working spaces that i go to so let's look at the street level here in los balsos so you get a better idea let's go here and see what this looks like street view and maybe we'll head over here let's see what's going on over here let's look at a building over here this is a little roundabout Let's go down that way towards the mall and check out these buildings. They are pretty tall. You're going to have great views. And again, the prices are going to be around $1,000 per month, even unfurnished. You may be able to find something for less, but there's a bigger demand now. So things have gone up even for locals because it is secluded and it is exclusive and it is gated and they have amenities and it's close to shopping centers. It's close to the touristy area. It's close enough to this touristy area to maybe even walk there, but it's far enough where you're not gonna get that noise. So those three areas, Castropol, El Tesoro, and Los Balsos are not only expensive, but they're also hilly. So you're probably not gonna be walking every single day. So you're probably gonna be using Uber or taxi to get in and out a lot. Another big con is the fact that it's expensive. If you don't have the budget to live in this area, you're going to hate it. Another big con is that the probability of you going through Calle Diez and that big touristy area is very high. And you're going to run into foreigners, you're going to run into tourists, and you're going to see some of the bad stuff like the prostitutes on Calle Diez, the beggars on Calle Diez. It is something that could deter people from wanting to live in this area. So if you want to get away from that but still be in El Poblado, these are the three areas that I would recommend. The first area is Ciudad del Rio. This is Ciudad del Rio right here. And the great thing about Ciudad del Rio is that it is completely flat. It's still considered El Poblado. It's still nice. There's new buildings with amenities. And it's like a little city within the city. Around this park right here, you've got restaurants, you've got a museum, you've got the supermarket or the small supermarket, the dollar store, etc. Zoom in here. This park is amazing because there's a lot to do, especially if you like yoga, skating, etc. Like this is the uh, the skate bowl there. And this is what that park looks like on the weekend, usually. Just people hanging out, having picnics, drinking beer. Remember that in Colombia, you can drink openly. One of my favorite things about Ciudad del Rio is that in the afternoons along this road next to the park, you have food trucks line up a lot of families come out here with their pets. People do sports out here. It's a great place for picnics and stuff. If you live in this area, in any of these buildings, you have a great neighborhood and something to do every single night. I would love to live in this area. Another area is Manila. If you just type in Manila here, Manila, El Poblado, 
It'll zoom in here. This area is flat and there are hotels and hostels. So you are gonna see foreigners walking around, but it's a different vibe. It's more of a neighborhood feel because there are a lot of Colombians that live here and there are no high rises like big uh, apartment buildings like in El Tesoro, Los Balsos or Castropol. So you do get to meet all of your neighbors. I remember when I lived up in those hills, I lived there for two years. And I only got to know one of my neighbors. As opposed to living in Manila, I know everybody. So the pros are that it is definitely flat. It's cheaper than living in Castropol, El Tesoro, and Los Balsos because you don't have those high-rise buildings with security guards that are gated off. These are smaller buildings, maybe four or five-story apartments, where you can find an apartment for $700, $800 a month. Remember, this is a very sought-after area. There isn't a lot of availability. Another great area is Patio Bonito. Patio Bonito is adjacent to Manila. Let's go to Patio Bonito. And it's a little bigger than Manila, as you can see. It's this whole area here. And a great thing about Patio Bonito is that it's even more residential than Manila. Manila, you have more restaurants and stuff around it. But here, there are very little restaurants and hotels, as you can see. These are all uh, residential areas. And you will see more apartment buildings, but you're not going to be as high as the ones in Castropol, Los Balsos, or El Tesoro. Let's take a look at these, for example. This is a, an apartment building there. As you can see, this is a tower. It also has the security guard, but it doesn't seem as exclusive as El Tesoro or like Castropol type of apartment buildings. These are older as well. They could be up to 20, 30 years old, but it is a beautiful area. This is a great apartment complex here. It's almost something that you would see in the United States. Again, this is gonna be more expensive than any other place in Medellin, but less expensive than living up in one of those newer buildings in El Tesoro, Los Balsos, or Castropol. On top of that, this whole area is flat, so you'll be able to walk around anywhere. And you're very close to both Avenida Poblado, which is a main road, again, that goes all the way to downtown. And you're very close to this main highway here that goes through the whole of Medellin. In both Manila and Patio Bonito, you are walking distance from the touristy area if you do want the nightlife the restaurants the bars the nightclubs you don't have to hop in a taxi or an uber to get there a lot of people associate el poblado with tourism and high rent prices and the right but as you can see the area is pretty big you can definitely live far enough away from it so that you don't have to hear it and be around it but close enough to it so that you can enjoy some of that entertainment i've been here for 13 years and i've lived in seven different neighborhoods and el poblado has been my favorite because i like the best of both worlds i've worked very hard over the years to be able to live in a very nice safe neighborhood in a great apartment with a good view walking distance from the parties that i want to go to to the co-working space that I go to to the cafes that I frequent every day and I truly feel a part of this community if you have any more questions about Medellin make sure to check out the link in the description below the Medellin masterclass thank you and have a great day